Hey guys, Killer K here. Welcome back to another episode of Kem's Killer Sources. Today we have a pod review. Today we are going to do a caramel foot. So, as you can see, it's a nice plant, nice producer. Not going to kill myself too much today, but we're, we're doing a caramel butt, so this should be interesting. Caramel ghost, caramel butt, whatever you'd like to call it. I just keep picking off this plant and it just keeps producing, so we'll take our weapon of choice. I'll see which one's a lot more... a lot more riper. I think it's this little one here. So this is the one we're going to be doing today. Caramel book. Anyway, without further ado, as you guys know, I've just got me water just in case. Got me new tripod set up. Now I can actually do reviews in my garden. It's amazing. So here we go. This is the caramel book. Let's see how this goes. Mm, real sweet this is. Mm. The taste of those is amazing. I really love ghost peppers. Mm. A, a really sweet and fruity tasting pod. Mm. Alright, so that's down. That was really, really sweet. Really tasty. Really fruity. It's starting to heat up now. Lighten up the back of the throat. Insides of the gums. Yeah, it's mainly just the back of the throat at the moment and a little bit on the gums. The tongue's starting to light up a little bit now. But that's an amazing tasting pod. I'm actually going to make a an actual salt out of these guys. It's got a nice slow building, uh, here we go, hiccups, a nice slow building heat to it. I was expecting it to be a lot hotter. Here we go, hiccups. But the flavour on that thing is amazing, guys. I've always liked the taste, uh, here we go, hiccups. <laughs> the taste and the flavour of the ghosts. This is a caramel ghost and it's just so sweet. It doesn't have a bitter taste. No florally. I'm trying to put the notes on how sweet it is. I'm trying to sit. It's similar to maybe like a Granny Smith apple in the sweetness and the crunch of it. Really thin wars. It's not really overpowering heat. I mean, the tongue's going off now. It started in the back of the throat. Now it's moving its way forward into the front of my mouth. My tongue's going off a little bit now. But the flavour on that thing, it's just, I can still taste the flavour in the back of my throat. The flavour just stays. It's not as hot as I was expecting it to be though. I was expecting it to be a lot hotter. Because I know the caramel and the chocolate varieties seem to be a lot hotter. Getting a little bit of drool at the moment. And I didn't even need to take water with that one. So that was good. Most of the bitter, florally tasting chilies, I struggle to swallow them because of the, the taste of them. I'm not too keen on the taste, but guys, if you haven't tried a caramel book, guys, get seeds for next season. They're amazing. I do seeds, so you can have seeds. Just hit me up at Chem's Killer Sources on my Facebook page, and I can definitely give you some seeds and stuff. But this, this guy's just been flowering like crazy. But I hope you enjoyed I can actually record in my chili patch now. This is amazing. Tongue's just sort of only thing that's really going off at the moment. But hey guys, hit that subscribe button and that bell up there to notify you of every time I post a video. Like me on Facebook, Kems Killer Sources. Instagram, Kems Killer Sources. Kems underscore killer underscore sources. Follow me. Thanks for watching. Love you guys, and as always, stay killer.